you know, I, I really declared myself a photographer in late 89 and just did my first gigs in you know, the fall of 89 and then I got into doing uh, stuff on movie sets in early 1990. And I was, uh, there was an independent film being made in Los Angeles called The Linguini Incident. It was being directed by a guy, an NYU film graduate named Richard Shepard. And it was like, a, you know, a, the budget was like a million dollars, but it had a really great cast. Uh, you know, it was Rosanna Arquette, uh, Marley Matlin was in it, David Bowie, um, Buck Henry and Andre Gregory were also in it. And uh, so, um, uh, they uh, I somehow, uh, Premier Magazine, which is a big film magazine, that hired me to go on to the set to do a group photo of the cast. And uh, I went there one day, and, and David Bowie was in, and I wasn't the photographer on the film. Um, oh, God, I can't think of his name right now, I'm blanking. But there was a you know, great photographer who was the set photographer on the movie, and they were filming in LA, and they were going to, like for the final five or six days, they were gonna go to New York to, uh, to film, and, um, but they didn't have the budget to bring the, uh, the unit photographer with them. So I kind of said to them, well look, you know, I'll go and do the photography for you if you, uh, I wanted to see my family, if you give me a plane ticket uh, back to New York, I'll, I'll do the, uh, the photos. And they said, okay, great. So we went back to New York and they were um, doing the, uh, they were doing a scene on Coney Island and it was like a blustery December morning, December of 1970. And we were, were out of Coney Island and uh, there had been a, um, you know, uh, David Bowie and Roseanne Arquette were kind of love interests in the movie. And we were this great gray December morning and I saw this, you know, the Coney Island skyline and we were standing on the beach and I said, you know, I, I said to one of the producers, I said, it would be really cool if I could get David Bowie and Roseanne Arquette to be kind of holding hands, running in the sand toward the camera with the Coney Island skyline behind them. And they were like, oh no, don't bother him. You know, we, you know don't, don't bother, we don't wanna. So I, you know, I, I asked him, I said, uh, you know, would you mind? He said, no, great idea. He, was, he could have been more professional and more kind. I just asked him and they did the take for me like three or four times. And then um, he was standing there, uh, Bowie was standing there, just he was a chain smoker and he was smoking cigarettes and like in between cigarettes, I did this great portrait of him, which has become, you know, very well known of him, kind of with the, the gray December morning and the, and the wind blowing through his hair. And, um, uh, you know, just to give you an idea, I mean, it was such, such a legend, but he was just couldn't have been more down to earth. So uh, a few months later, I was back in Los Angeles and I was uh, having sushi at, uh, oh, I forget the name of it, some sushi restaurant in La Sienica, Matsuhisu or something like that a very fancy place with my girlfriend and it was a crowded Friday night and uh, David Bowie and Iman walked in and like across the room he saw me and he brought Iman over and they, they spent like, you know, 10 minutes at the table just talking. Mm -hmm. And so that was the, uh, the, uh, the memory I have of David Bowie. And then um, uh, a couple of times, like years later, I met, I, I knew this um, girl who was a ph photographer and she worked with a lot of disabled people for Easter Seals. And uh, she asked me if I would donate the photo uh, of David Bowie, and I did, and uh, uh, to some benefit that she was doing. And we sent it to David Bowie, and he signed it, and I signed it, and I think it, I think it sold for like five thousand dollars for their benefit. So that was nice. And then one one more follow up is um, after uh, uh, Bowie had passed away, um, I had an exhibit of my photographs at this um, gallery in a little, uh, um, oh boy, little Havana on Cayocho at this place called Futurama. And there were some people that were like from London, they were across the street and they saw through the window of the gallery my photo and the, uh, the wife uh, bought it for her husband for his, for his birthday so I had it sent to London. 